federal appeals court has granted a request by the NFL and NFLPA to expedite a hearing on the league's appeal of the ruling that struck down the Tom Brady suspension. The move basically guarantees Brady will play the entire regular season and postseason without the threat of being suspended for his role in Deflategate. Good news for Brady and the Patriots, considering that the wild card playoffs begin January 9th, 2016. The AFC and NFC championship games are set for January 24th, and the Super Bowl is scheduled for February 7th. Right now, the earliest the appeal will be heard is the week of February 1st. Stephen A., Well, reaction? I think the time has arrived to concede that Skip Bayless uh, was absolutely right. Thank you. I think the time has, come, has, has arrived. Well, I mean, if it means so much to you, congratulations. <laughs> okay, you were right about Tom Brady winning this case. Because as far as I'm concerned, the NFL has officially lost. Um, even when Judge Richard Berman came down with the decision uh, to, to rescind Roger Goodell's four-game suspension, okay, and, 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 you know, on September 3rd, here's the bottom line. At the end of the day, you're thinking that the NFL still has a right to appeal and the appeal could end up being heard before the playoffs and Tom Brady could end up suffering the consequences. This essentially ensures that Tom Brady is not going to be affected in terms of being on the field for the entire season. It is time for the NFL to cut bait and to drop this all together. Oh, really? And let me tell you oh. something. I'm going, to go, I'm going to go a step further here. Because here's the reality, Skip. If the Patriots make the Super Bowl and you, as a league, go after Tom Brady still, the week of the Super Bowl, a year later, that is beyond insanity. There, there is no excuse for that whatsoever. I don't give a damn if he is guilty. You don't. You need to leave him alone. To, to, to bother us over Deflate Gate next February, after Seriously. all of this happened last January. That's just you, you know. It, that is nothing short of a witch hunt. If you do that, that's a witch hunt. Now, if you want to appeal and appeal and appeal because you wanted it to affect him some game this season, that's fine. But since the case won't even be heard until the week of the Super Bowl, okay? At, at the very earliest, you can't allow this to even be a story. If you do this, it's, it's, it's beyond football. It's beyond, you have contaminated the game and you're contaminating your own Super Bowl. Wow. You actually, you actually deserve, I w it won't happen, of course, because we'll all watch. But I literally, literally wouldn't blame America for boycotting the Super Bowl. Stop it. No, no, no. That's of course not it's not going to happen. Let's not get ridiculous. Okay. It's not going to happen. But I said I would not blame the American public, the world, if they boycotted the Super Bowl, if the NFL allowed this to be a story okay. the first week in February. Come on now. Just, 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 drop, right. the, the, just drop it. So what percentage of... American NFL or not American? Let's let's do worldwide World. NFL fans. What percentage still believe Tom Brady knew about it and lied about it? I think more than fifty percent. Okay, so so to your point, see, then then more than fifty percent of the people would applaud the NFL for continuing I to I hang disagree. in. I disagree. I disagree because Skip, I don't believe that the quarterback knew nothing. I just don't believe he actually said deflate the footballs below PSI levels of yep. twelve and a half. What I'm saying to you is this. I don't care, and I think I speak for a lot of folks out there who simply don't care. Now that football has started, we want to see Tom I Brady out there performing. We don't care anymore. The sure. NFL had the offseason to handle their business. Okay. You failed in that quest. Let it go to allow it to become a headline. Again, the week of the Super Bowl after it was the headline, the week of the last okay. Super Bowl, that's okay. inexcusable. Okay. It's inexcusable. It's not the NFL's fault or doing that the the, the appellate hearing, the appeals court, would start on February 1st. It is their Remember, fault. It's, it's, but if it's the, the court ruled that, I that know was that. The, the court docket. I that, know that. What, but if okay. the NFL said we drop it, they'll drop they, it. They could drop they it if drop they wanted it. to. You lost. You wow. lost. Drop it. It's over. He's back playing, and you can't affect Because even if they heard the case, Skip, the first week, the, the, the week of the Super Bowl, they're not going to tell Tom Brady if he's in the Super Bowl, you can't play that Sunday. They're not okay. going to come down with a ruling that prevents it from playing. So why bother? Okay, there have been some prominent cases that have been won on appeal. And the, the most prominent one I know, speaking of sports, is Maurice Claret. 
and it was the greatest injustice, I think, in American sports history that Maurice Claret won in, at the circuit court level, at the Judge Berman level, and then lost on appeal to the NFL but, but, about could he play it, it, as But a, that's not my issue. You know, my early. issue, again, is it ain't even whether or not they can win. If you can't win before the Super Bowl, mm -hmm. if Tom Brady is in it, we don't need to read those headlines. He's playing anyway, so why bother him? Well, I'm now, fine if he with wasn't playing, if he wasn't uh, playing, if, good. He, if he wasn't what... playing, if he wasn't playing, that's it. But if the NFL allows this story to contaminate mm -hmm. a second consecutive Super Bowl week and Super Bowl, even though Tom Brady is playing, that is tantamount to a flagrant witch hunt. Okay. Let it go. Good. 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 Let project. it go. I love it. Let it go. I can let if I can let it go anybody. Listen, let it go. Mm -hmm. He beat him. Okay. He beat him. Let it go. Let it go. And could I take let one last go. second? Sure. For one last time to thank Judge Berman for having the guts to stand up to the National Football League and to put Roger Goodell in his place and to basically ridicule the shaky case made by the Wells report against Tom I'm sick Brady. Of you doing Thank that. you, I'm Judge sick Berman. Of you doing that. No, but it's Roger, the truth. Roger it just Goodell, took one man to Roger do this. Roger Goodell works for the owners. Stop giving them a pass. He does what they tell him to do. Okay. If they told Roger Goodell to drop it, otherwise he was jeopardizing his $44 million a year salary, Roger Goodell is not going to jeopardize. Go. 44 Tom million Brady so he can get Tom Brady on the plate I don't care. Tom Me, Brady right wins. Here. And the rest of Tom America. Tom Brady wins on the field. He wins it's off over. the field. It's he wins over. in court. He wins in the end. Hashtag lost. team. I don't care about the flake. He ain't going to win the Super Bowl this year. I do I care about that. this next subject, though. He will be Johnny back up for another week, but should he be the starter? The guys will get into that after the break. Yeah. Is brought to you by Oberto Beef Jerky. You get out what you put in. And Bass Pro Shops, your adventure starts here. Browns receiver Andrew Hawkins and O-lineman Joe Thomas yesterday brushed off a TMZ report that three unnamed Browns players were calling for Mike Pettin to go back to Johnny Manziel. Thomas compared the story to picking up the onion and that it couldn't be further from the truth. That was oh. pretty funny. Skip, should Manziel be the Browns quarterback? Look, Stephen A., obviously I'm a Johnny fan. I, I want to see him play football. I want to see him start games, but not get thrown into this disaster mm -hmm. that is the Cleveland Browns. Because, look, the, the handwriting's on the locker room wall. Mike Patton, Ray Farmer did not want to draft Johnny Manziel, and they do not want to bet their futures on Johnny Manziel. So this is a losing proposition here. And they just today announced that they signed that kid, Austin Davis, who started eight games for the Rams last year. Two-year extension gave him 500000 guaranteed, 4.2 overall. It's not huge money, but they're showing you that they, they like him more than they like Johnny Manziel. They want to keep him in the fold as a possible starter going into next year. Ditto. That's all I have to say. Oh, I'm yeah. looking at the schedule. San Diego, Baltimore, Denver, St. Louis, Arizona, Cincinnati, and Pittsburgh. Those are your next seven games. You shouldn't want to see Johnny Manziel in there because if you said otherwise, I was going to sit up here and ask you. I was going to read out these games. Thank I'm going to say to you, yeah. do you really want Johnny Manziel yeah. in there at this particular because moment? Can, but I think he, he wants to. Can I don't he, think so, no. but I know he wants to be in there. Well, sure he I does. I know he wants to. And, and I do believe some of his teammates would like to see him in there. I know a whole bunch of those fans. It would be much more fun to watch them lose well, me, with Johnny than lose with Let me show you this. They will see him against these defenses. I promise you, McCown's not going to last. might not last. He, Manziel he will be not. back in. No, God bless him. I'm God bless him. We don't wish lose. anything. No, I'm not talking about him getting hurt. I, I He's just going to get taken. Would Johnny could win more games than McCown? I don't probably think either of them can win more games. Uh, you're probably right about that, too. It's, just, it's more about the team as a yeah, whole the than, the actual, than the quarterback. The team stinks offensively. Totally get it. Great having you in studio. You know, Let's make a it pleasure. a thing. I might think about coming back tomorrow. It depends on how Skip acts. Well, I don't know about that outfit. Today. Oh, you must be crazy. crazy. Federal appeals court has granted a request by the NFL and NFLPA to expedite a hearing on the league's appeal of the ruling that struck down the Tom Brady suspension. The move basically guarantees Brady will play the entire regular season and postseason without the threat of being suspended for his role in Deflategate. Good news for Brady and the Patriots, considering that the wild card playoffs begin January 9th, 2016. The AFC and NFC championship games are set for January 24th, and the Super Bowl is scheduled for February 7th. Right now, the early the appeal will be heard is the week of February 1st. Stephen A. Well, reaction? I think the time has arrived to concede that Skip Bayless 
uh, was absolutely right. Thank you. I think the time has, come, has, a, has arrived. Well, I mean, if it means so much to you, congratulations. <laughs> okay, you were right about Tom Brady winning this case. Because as far as I'm concerned, the NFL has officially lost. Um, even when Judge Richard Berman came down with the decision... Uh, to to rescind Roger Goodell's four game suspension, okay, and 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 you know, on September third, here's the bottom line: at the end of the day, you're thinking that the NFL still has a right to appeal, and the appeal could end up being heard before the playoffs, and Tom Brady could end up suffering the consequences. This essentially ensures that Tom Brady is not going to be affected in terms of being on the field for the entire season. It is time for the NFL to cut bait and to drop this all together. Oh, really? And let me tell you oh. something. I'm going, to go, I'm going to go a step further here because here's the reality, Skip. If the Patriots make the Super Bowl and you, as a league, go after Tom Brady still, the week of the Super Bowl, a year later, that is beyond insanity there, there is no excuse for that whatsoever i don't give a damn if he is guilty you don't you need to leave him alone to, to, to bother us over deflate gate next february after Seriously. all of this happened last january that's just you, you know it, that is nothing short of a witch hunt if you do that that's a witch hunt now, if you want to appeal and appeal and appeal because you wanted it to affect him some game this season, that's fine. But since the case won't even be heard until the week of the Super Bowl, okay, at, at the very earliest, you can't allow this to even be a story. If you do this, it's, it's, it's beyond football. It's beyond you have contaminated the game and you're contaminating your own Super Bowl. Wow. You actually, you actually deserve. I it won't happen, of course, because we'll all watch. But I literally, literally wouldn't blame America for boycotting the Super Bowl. Stop it. No, no, no. Of That's course not it's not going to happen. Let's not get ridiculous. Okay. It's not going to happen. But I said I would not blame the American public, the world, if they boycotted the Super Bowl, if the NFL allowed this to be a story okay. the first week in February. Come on now. Just, 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 drop, right. the, the, just drop it. So what percentage of... American NFL or not American? Let's let's do worldwide World. NFL fans. What percentage still believe Tom Brady knew about it and lied about it? I think more than fifty percent. Okay, so so to your point, see, then then more than fifty percent of the people would applaud the NFL for continuing I to I hang disagree. in. I disagree. I disagree because Skip, I don't believe that the quarterback knew nothing. I just don't believe he actually said deflate the footballs below PSI levels of yep. twelve and a half. What I'm saying to you is this. I don't care, and I think I speak for a lot of folks out there who simply don't care. Now that football has started, we want to see Tom Brady care. out there performing. We don't care anymore. The sure. NFL had the offseason to handle their business. Okay. You failed in that quest. Let it go to allow it to become a headline. Again, the week of the Super Bowl after it was the headline, the week of the last Super Bowl, that's okay. inexcusable. Okay.